What a rally at home tonight. Down by 16 in the first half. Duke turns it all the way around and they knock off Boston College 83 to 82. 79 to 68 the final score as the Blue Devils knock off the Demon Deacons of Wake Forest. Blue Devils played hard, just too much of a climb here in the second half. Some cosmetic work and the final score will be 74 to 67. We feel we're very fortunate to have had three games in a week. And in saying that, it sounds crazy, right? Uh, I mean, that's what you do uh, in normal times. This has been far from a normal year. And uh, uh, so how do you adjust to something that's what should be what you always do to something that you're doing for the first time? And uh, I thought that we didn't end the, th uh, the three game period the right way. Uh, you know, uh, look, Virginia Tech is really a, an outstanding team. Mike Young's done a great job with them and they're one of the better teams around. But uh, we were not prepared for that level of game as we should have been. And uh, I thought we had good mental uh, preparation, at least, you know, like the game plan, but the, the execution of what we did was not good. It, it was, you know, way below par. And in order to win that game, we had still had chances to win it. Uh, in those critical times, it's 56, 55, it's 68, 64, uh, you gotta hunker down and get a stop, make sure it's the best offense that you've run. And uh, that was the first game we've been in like that, where the other team was out playing us, then we came back, and then it comes down to that crunch time, and uh, you know we did not, as a, as a group, we're all responsible for it. We didn't respond to the level that uh, we needed to in order to win uh, to win a basketball game. You know, the best teacher is experience. You know, like, and that's why veteran teams are better than younger teams, especially this year. I mean, because. A lot of the veteran teams have lost. Maybe not this year, but they, you know, if they were undefeated, they wouldn't have the same team back for, for this year. All their guys would be going pro. So when you get, you know, that continuity of, of people being in those situations, you have an, that's an advantage. So we have to use this as a, you know, obviously, every experience is a learning experience. You, I'd rather learn from winning than from losing. We should try to learn more in practice, you know, so that we are not put in a position to lose. But uh, definitely we learned a lot. And uh, sometimes you learn from just playing against another player. The kid Ratford for Virginia Tech, you know, was the most competitive kid we've played against all year. You know, 18 points, 12 re rebounds, and was relentless. And, uh, you know, again, they had a 500 year last year. He was a tough player on that team. You learn from that. And then when you have your opportunities again, then you want to you want to make the most of them. And our guys have to understand that a lot of teams look at playing at Duke as an opportunity. And uh, and that's the way it's been for over three decades. So you got to be even – you're going to get the other team's best shot. And I thought Virginia Tech played really well against us. Zion took it right out of his hand. The Game Breakers. Baker into the post and hurt. Good position on Aluma. Backs him down, fades away, and scores. Goldwire with his third steal. Lobs it ahead for Stewart. Behind the defense to lay it in. Into the post, Hurt gets a touch. Obama's back out there defensively with four. Hurt fades away on the baseline. Give him two more. 45 seconds to go in the half. Roach on the drive. Bodied up, double team, lost it, got it back. Lost it again. Stewart got it, put it up and in. And a chance for three. Goldwire for Roach. Looks to the left corner. There's Hurt. Three ball up. Oh, he hit it! Cold blooded from Matthew Hurt to give the Blue Devils a 78 to 75 lead. Stolen by Stewart. Duke hasn't led since it was 2 to nothing until now as Stewart lays it in off the right glass. 
DJ's a great player, he's a great scorer. You know, he can score in so many different ways, whether it's off the bounce, whether it's catch and shoot, whether it's playing off penetration. You know, I, th I think me and him, you know, can, can shoot and score the ball, so I think we, we play really well together. Karnick, one dribble and a handoff for Tabs. At the free throw line, blocked by Stewart, and headed the other way. Two on two, looking for help, then it back for more. Right elbow jumper, that's good. And Duke has some momentum now. I want to be a, a two-way player. You know, a lot of people, they said I'm not, a, when I was in high school, that wasn't a great defender. So uh, pretty much, I'm trying to get better every day on defense. And uh, I, I, I give props to my coaches and my teammates who push me every day to be a great defender. And uh, Jordan Goldwire especially, I really watch him, how he plays defense, and Wendell Moore, so they help me a lot. Mitchell bodying up with Moore, can't get by him, and then Roach took it away. Four on two, he's got help, left it for Hurt, one dribble, bounce pass for Moore. Still big numbers advantage, they kick it out for Hurt, left side three, and we are tied. And just like that, Boston College wants a timeout. I think on offense, um, you know, we've been really working hard on our offense, um, whether it's, you know, sets, whether it's actions, um, whether, it's, whether it's moving off the ball, just playing free. Um, so I think I, I think just doing that every day, I um, mean, having the, the coaches are doing a great job of just uh, keep, keep it knocking on our minds. So I think just, uh, I think that's what we've improved uh, at Smith, Illinois. You know, our defense is has been really good, but uh, I feel like our offense is it's getting there. It's getting there. It's not there all the way. So that's why. I feel like our ceiling is so high, so, you know, if our offense gets there, we're going to be a really dominant team. Duke All Access is brought to you by Coca-Cola. Together tastes better. By Ford, built for victory, built for the Carolinas. Contact your Carolina Ford dealer today. And by Gatorade, win from within. Don't wait for tomorrow. Make the days count. Gatorade has carbs to fuel and electrolytes to help replenish, so you can count on the proven formula. Nothing beats Gatorade. Nearly 150 years of experience goes into making each and every Continental tire. So you can trust with total confidence that our tires will deliver superior performance. No matter where the road takes you. Continental Tire. For what you do. Today tastes like staying in. Like our go-to place. <laughs> tastes like anticipating. And a little bit like waiting. tastes like a piece of the action, and it never tasted this good. In the truck game, greatness is defined by a relentless commitment to the customer, forged over decades, built by a team resolute in helping you achieve your greatness. Experience this award-winning lineup today. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling truck for 44 years straight and counting. Now get a well-equipped 2020 F-150 with up to 10,531 in total savings, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Don't wait for tomorrow. Make the days count. Gatorade has carbs to fuel and electrolytes to help replenish, so you can count on the proven formula. Nothing beats Gatorade. Blue Devils need points. Roach floats it to Williams, and he dunks it down for two. Drives and gets cut off, gives it to Williams. Layup, good. Elizabeth wow, Williams. Good. Between playing in the WNBA and playing overseas, um, I don't necessarily, like our seasons don't necessarily overlap, so any opportunity that I was home and I could see him playing, you know, in his high school games back when he was at Norfolk Academy, or um, I was able to see him on his senior night at IMG Academy, so I try to do my best when, whenever I'm around to see him play. and. And um, now that I'm a little bit older, and he's older too, we've had the chance to actually work out together. 
um, and then COVID hit. But uh, I think we just try to take advantage of any time that we have together, even though we do have that big age gap. During COVID, uh, we definitely we got to work out together more than I think we probably ever would have. So we had a good couple of weeks working out together. That was pretty cool. But besides that, we don't really get to work out that much because our schedules are always like conflicting. So I, I know I always remember and people always joke with me about when he was watching my games at Duke and how he was like one of the loudest people and screaming. Uh, <laughs> and he was only, I think, doing like AU and stuff at that point. So we weren't necessarily competing against each other, but I think um, he was probably my biggest cheerleader. We were here all the time, especially those Sunday games. Uh, my parents and I, we, we came down and watched those games and a lot of the big games we were here for. So it was always fun to watch her play. I think the biggest thing, I'm just reminding him to stay positive. There's so much uncertainty this year. And I think, you know, when I talked to him, we talked about, you know, how's practice going? Like, how are you feeling? Um, I asked him about classes because it's just such a different experience for him. It's not, you know, the typical college experience, but I just do my best to encourage him and say, you know, keep working hard in practice. This year might just turn out to be like the perfect year for developing your game, honestly. So uh, I just told him to keep taking advantage of that and just keep his head up. I text her all the time. Uh, it's not always basketball. It's just always like how you're doing. You know, she's in Turkey, so just checking up on her, making sure she's good, so. I really tried not to, to pressure him. You know, I, I said, when it comes to your college decision, like, this is this is very unique to you. Uh, I think that having the familiarity of being on campus so many times, um, and I know the relationships that I've had with the, the men's and women's staff, like, I obviously brought those up. So I try not to be overly biased when it came to his decision making, but I, I think at the end of the day, you can't go wrong in choosing Duke. Uh, she definitely had a lot of influence on me. Uh, she always wanted me to go here, of course, but she never pressured me into anything. Uh, and then also basketball-wise, she was always someone I could talk to. You know, she has a great basketball mind, so anything I need to ask her about, she had the answer. She definitely motivated me. Uh, you know, seeing her being so successful in her games uh, definitely inspired me to be the best version of myself that I could be. Well, Mark's a sensational kid and from an, a, a truly amazing family. I mean, uh, you can't have a better family. So uh, with Mark, he, he wants to be good. Part of it for him in the development is just the speed and physicality of the game and the fact that even his senior year in high school, he was not able to play a lot of the year because of his uh, t uh, the tendonitis and his with severe tendonitis in his knees, and uh, so he's behind. You know, he he's he's behind, but uh, he's trying to catch up. Yeah, I think he, I think he's going to be a really good player here. But you know, it he needs the continuity of every day playing, and. Uh, he, he, and he's trying like crazy to do it. But uh, hopefully as the year progresses, we'll see uh, him go to a different level. Even though we can't have everyone gathered, we found new ways to make each occasion special. We're keeping your gifting experience both safe and personal through reads.com, answering all your questions and guiding you to the perfect present, just like we have for over 70 years. Family always finds a way to celebrate life's moments together, no matter what. You won't just shop with confidence at Reed's Jewelers and Reed's.com. You'll feel like family. You're injured, but at the insurance company, it's business as usual. Denied. This guy? They call him the deny guy. Denied. D-E-N-I-E-D. -E -E -D. Denied. Denied. He sings his song every day. Denied, denied, denied! Well, unless he hears from an experienced lawyer. Tell them you mean business. Call on the Hurt Line, the law offices of James Scott Farron, right now. Let's talk about math. Fuel points math. For every dollar you spend at Harris Teeter, you get a fuel point. 100 fuel points equals 10 cents off per gallon. 
200 fuel points equals 20 cents off per gallon. A thousand fuel points equals one dollar off per gallon on quality fuel. And if you're shopping at Harris Teeter with your Vic card, your fuel points are already adding up. Check the bottom of your receipt. Harris Teeter Fuel Points, an easy way to save on fuel. See HarrisTeeter.com for details. Nearly 150 years of experience goes into making each and every Continental tire. So you can trust with total confidence that our tires will deliver superior performance. No matter where the road takes you. Continental Tire. For what you do. Duke 360, presented by Continental Tire, for what you do. One of the things about Coach K over the years is he's, he's allowed his teams offensively to be basketball players. He hasn't really scripted a whole lot of movement within offensive sets, but he's put his teams uh, in sets to organize them and then allow them to be basketball players. We wanted to highlight a horn set this week, a horn set. You'll see it a lot in the NBA. Uh, you'll see it a lot in college. It's basically putting your four and your five man up around the elbow areas. Uh, in this case, Duke extends those two big guys uh, a little bit up towards the three point line. And then you allow your point guard to come off of one of those guys on a, on a ball screen. And then uh, the players play basketball from there. We wanted to use three clips from the Notre Dame game earlier this season to show you how effective this horn set can be. On the first action, you'll see Jeremy Roach bringing up the ball, and you've got Mark Williams and Matthew Hurt setting up that horn set. Roach comes off of Hurt, who's a screener in this case, and you get a high low. You get your conventional high low. Hurt throws that ball into Williams. Uh, you've got two capable shooters spaced out into the corners. Those guys are in those corners to create that good spacing. The ball goes into Williams, and Williams gets one-on-one -on -one because you can't really help, and, uh, and he makes a nice move in the post. On the second action, they change up who the roller is. So in the first set, it was Mark Williams rolling to the basket. In this case, it's Matthew Hurt because you've got Jamin Brakefield as that other post player, and you want Brakefield – at the top of the key, he ends up being the post passer to Matthew Hurt. Hurt catches it, goes one-on-one. -on -one. Again, you can't really help. And when he gets that one-on-one, -on -one, he makes a nice post move. So the same setup, you just have a different role guy. On this third action, what you'll see is how the play breaks down into basketball. And this is what we mean about setting the guys up, but then Coach K allowing them to be basketball players. One of the things about the way this setup is done is you've got the bigs lifted, and so there's nobody at the rim. And so on this set setup, the initial thrust, Jordan Goldwire takes it off of Jamin Brakefield, and he drives it hard to the basket with aggression. He then has Matthew Hurd at the top of the key as a bailout, and then it's just breaking down into playing basketball. You've got the defense moving on that initial thrust. You get a good post pass into Brakefield. And then the cutter, because the defense is occupied, you get that cutter down the middle and a good basket by Duke. So the horn set is a great example of, of organizing a team early in an offensive possession and then allowing them to be basketball players. It's a perfect ideal setup for the construction of Duke's team this year. And in that Notre Dame game, they executed that horn set to perfection. Well, high-low is, is a, a good way of running offense. Again, it can't be the only way, but it's, you know, what it does, it, it gives you the middle of the court, you know, instead of, you know, making the pass all the time from the side where, uh, that we call it the ball side, you know, on defense, the help side can come over and really clog the lane. You know, when you make passes from on top and get a high-low, uh, it spreads the the, off, uh, the defense because the offense is spread. And you get a little bit more room to maneuver. And instead of getting the ball always on the block, you get it in the middle of the lane, which gives you more of an opportunity to go in each, each direction. You know, Matt's developing some good post moves. He has that fadeaway, which 
that can't be his only move, but that's a good one. And uh, and then we need to, you know, the Notre Dame game was the first game where we really focused on him touching the ball more and changed our offense. So that's been a, a big key since the Notre Dame game. Don't wait for tomorrow. Make the days count. Gatorade has carbs to fuel and electrolytes to help replenish. So you can count on the proven formula. Nothing beats Gatorade. Okay. She's the one, and you know it. At reads.com, we're making it easy to find the perfect ring from home. With helpful advice from our online jewelry experts, safe and discreet shipping, and beautiful ring packaging, you'll be confident the moment will be as perfect for her as she is for you. As a trusted jeweler for over 70 years, Reed's Jewelers will be here to make both of you feel like family. Long after she says yes. Today tastes like staying in. Like our go-to place. <laughs> tastes like anticipating. And a little bit like waiting. Who's here? Today tastes like a piece of the action. And it never tasted this good. It's bow time. Dad, we're hungry. Yep, to the grill. Out of gas on game day? Drop a big bow box on it. Game on. Feed a family of four with eight pieces of scratch-made chicken, biscuits, fixins, and tea. It's bow time. Don't wait for tomorrow. Make the days count. Gatorade has carbs to fuel and electrolytes to help replenish, so you can count on the proven formula. Nothing beats Gatorade. Vintage Duke. He's going to take it down the lane, in the air, shoves it up. Got it at the buzzer. Look what happens with it. 63 62. The rebound knocked to the corner where Seth Curry out battles NC State, throws it ahead for Pumley's one handed jam and a foul. Mason and I are really close friends. Uh, I've, I had the opportunity of coaching him for a long time. You know, uh, up and really, in his sophomore year, if Kyrie had not gotten hurt, you know, he would have gone pro because they, there weren't many teams in the country that could stop our ball screen uh, with him and Kyrie. Uh, but he, he ended up being the best big guy in the country. And I can remember him coming in before his, uh, actually at the end of his junior year and coming in and he said, I'm staying. And he had a list, he had written out a list of things he wanted to accomplish and his goals, but also, you know, th and this means a lot to me, one of his goals was, coach, I want to develop a relationship with you that will last a lifetime. Now this is a, a kid in college saying that, and, and we have. You know, uh, along with being a pro and making a lot of money and being the starting center on the Pistons, to me, I'm happiest about him achieving that goal with me. Nice behind the back, feed down inside, Mason with a dunk from Nolan Smith. I'm enjoying each year. Um, each year brings new challenges, new opportunities, so um, it never gets old, that's for sure. Um, everything from injuries to trades to um, teammates moving on like it's, it's just each season is unpredictable and I think as an athlete um, you know you just appreciate each season and, and you want to give it what you have because you never have the same group of guys together again and uh, you want to create create moments with that group I love him and he was a great student here he, he's really one of the last guys that you know that's going to be a, a top pick and finish four years here you know, during the regu regular time. The thing that always sticks with me is just how honest he was. Um, not always what you wanted to hear, sometimes good, sometimes bad, but he told me two years in a row, he's like, you're not ready to go to the league. <laughs> and I thought I was, and 
uh, you know, he was, he was just great. He, he really had my best interest in mind. And you spend four years with them, you, you leave with a lot of wisdom. Um, and what's really funny is at the time you take him at his word, but as you play out your career and you, you get more experience, you realize he really knows what he's talking about. Um, but no, I mean, it, it's not a day or a game or a practice that goes by that something that he's taught or instilled in his players isn't relevant or isn't thought of. So um, I'm grateful for my time with him and, and uh, I wouldn't be where I am had I not gone to Duke and play for him. Working his way to the right, now back to the left. Into the corner it goes for a Hurt three. Count it. Matthew Hurt feeling it in Blacksburg. And Duke is back within one, 56 to 55. Continuity can be looked at in a number of different ways. There's uh, uh, the continuity of playing. Like, do you have a game every third or fourth day? You know, that, that, that's good. But uh, the best continuity is the continuity of, uh, of, of what your team is. And we have not been able to develop that yet with injury. Uh, you know, that's hurt us some. It's not an excuse, it's just it's what happens. And also consistent performance. It starts from a player having the continuity of effort and performance. If you can get a number of those guys together, then you form a starting unit and a bench. You know, when we started to really roll last year, we had continuity. You, know, you had those three kids who showed up big every game in, uh, in Trey and Vernon and, and Cassius. And then some of the other guys didn't show up at the level every game, but enough of them did. And then at the end of the year, you had J-Rob, who was going on to another level. By the way, he's playing overseas, and he's 20 pounds heavier. Can you believe that? We just got an email from him, from his mom and showing him, and it's, uh, it's great because he's one of the great young men that we've had in our program. Jalen will go full time now, but understand that with that injury, he hasn't been able to do the running. I mean, you're on a bike or whatever, but you, that's a different level of conditioning. And uh, so we hope that in this period of time where we don't have a game, we met, it's our bye weekend, that we can get him to a different level of shape and then integrate him into what we're, what we're doing. Again, that's not continuity. You know, a team like Virginia Tech, they know their first seven or eight players, boom, 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 and they come in. and We don't know that yet. And some would say, well, why don't you know it? Come to a practice and inherit. <laughs> freshmen and new guys in new roles and that's the way it, that's the way it is we're, we're, we're gonna get there but it's a, it's a process to, to get there <laughs>